In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use Reflow to reorganize our slides quickly and easily. Let's get started. In ProPresenter, the Reflow tool is really useful for rearranging slide content and making sure we don't have too much content on a slide. So this can be used for things like message slides or Bible verses or anything like that where we need to rearrange our content. One of the things I use it often for for online church is rearranging my lower third slides because we use Bible verses in church in one service in the room and then we use different themes and different slide looks for our lower third. So we can fit a lot more on the screen in church than we can in our lower third. And so I just reflow the Bible verses to fit. So what we do is up here in our editing menu, we have our reflow tool. Now for this example, I'm actually going to import a new song into ProPresenter and then I'm gonna reflow it. So let's go to songs. Over here in the internet, I've just gone and got the lyrics to the blessing and I'm going to copy and paste them. Now this is one way we can import media. So if I go file, import, text from clipboard, I'm going to choose to delimit it. So that's how do we know when enough content is in that block before we start a new slide. So I'm gonna choose by line break. So each line, I'm going to do four lines per slide. That's my size, no theme for now. It's going to be saved into my songs and we're going to import that. So straight away, it's brought in my text and you can see it's four lines per slide. A couple of things here that are really helpful to note. Number one, we're going to get rid of our media. It gives us some more space. Down the bottom, these two little blue bars help us to change the size of everything so that we can see what we're doing. <laughs> so one on the right, one on the left. That's a little bit easier there. All right, so what I can do is I can see all of this at once and all of my slides at once. If I click on a slide over here, it's there. If I click on a slide over here, it actually changes the right-hand side to show me that slide and where it is. So if I scroll to the bottom, there it is. Now I might go through this song and we'll just have a quick look through here. And we know that this Amen part is sort of on its own. So I might wanna go, okay, let's put that on one slide and this on another. All we need to do, click, put the cursor in front of where we wanna do it and then we hit insert slide break. And now I have two slides. I can do the same here and I might, down here, what we might actually do is we might want to try and rearrange all the he's for you together. So what we might do is we might go and put in a slide break there. We might take that. I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to actually use Control X and I'm going to paste it in front of that. And we'll put in an enter there and we'll rearrange that. And we want he's for you here. So we want to bring this up to this slide. So same again, I'm going to cut it. We're going to go up here, enter, paste. And this has a line on it, as in a space and a line. So I'm just pressing delete on my keyboard and it brings it back. So you can see here, if we're dealing with large chunks of text, it's really quick and easy to rearrange it how we want it. Super useful for the day of your presentation or your event or importing lots of things and then rearranging it. So that's one way to rearrange songs. There's a few other ways as well, but just if you're rearranging text, click insert break and I might want them all to now be two slides, two lines per slide, sorry. So quick and easy, that there is the reflow tool. And so when I now go back to my presentation, you'll see I have all of my song with just a few lines per slide, all of my he's for you together up there in my preview. I can also make this bigger if needed so you can see as well. But that's the reflow tool, nice and quick and easy.